Now, great. We spoke about several resources that we have. We spoke about volcano. We spoke about wind. We spoke about the sun and all those resources that the good Lord has blessed us, has blessed us <laughs> with and which we can utilize. Now, wind. Are there any plans to harness the wind so that we can, you know, utilize more of the wind in terms of renewable energy? I know we focus on geothermal mm -hmm. and I know to some extent we have focused on solar, but the wind. And my second question um, is in terms of water. You know that we have had a serious water problem this year. Drought, water rationing as a result. Now water is one of our most precious resources. In some countries it's used for electricity, hydroelectricity, but we don't have rivers and all that sort of thing. But we have had to live within limits that we have never lived within before with water because of the, um, the water shortages. Can you tell us a little bit more in terms of water and what plans you have for conservation and, you know, maybe drip, um, wells or digging, I don't know. Every time I discuss the issue of water, uh, look at the water sector, you know, I get a feeling of, of, of uh, sadness because uh, some six years ago, uh, thereabouts, uh, in 2009, we benefited from uh, United Nations Environmental Environment Protection Plan uh, un program, sorry, UNEP program. And I remember that program very well. It was the, called the Rehabilitation and Management of the Bastia Valley as a protection measure for the underlying aquifer. And one of the outcomes of this project was a water resource management plan. And that management plan obviously sat on my predecessor's desk, uh, gathering dust. If you're tall, he read it uh, and did absolutely nothing about it. Now, I believe that the current situation could have been avoided. And I say so without fear of contradiction. Because if the then administration had taken heed, they would have done something about it. And I'm glad you raised that question because I, I, I anticipated it. So I, I, I came <laughs> for armed. And the Ocean of Technologies Limited, OET, uh, that was but the consultants on the project they said this in the executive summary they warned that the, the, there's a trend of declining static water levels observed in the Bastia well field and just to get our minds into perspective there's a misperception that the aquifer is down there at points and needmus. Mm -hmm. That in fact is the aquifer well field. Mm -hmm. The Bastia Valley aquifer spans the mountains, Olivier's mountains to be exact, on the west, mm -hmm. the Canada Hills on the northeast, and the Connery Hills on the east. The water comes all underground because of our what is called our sandy loam soil. It has a high porosity so it, it, it percolates all on the ground and it settles there in the well field aquifer so there is an ocean of water just out there in Pans Didmas when it's saturated highly saturated it flows into to the sea so they warned that if of the declining levels and it says and I quote here this decline is observed to range from 1.5 to 2 feet according to available data 
extending back in the 1970s. It went on. The decline in water levels appears to have accelerated from 1999 to 2009 with an increase in water, rain water that is withdrawals. He said, continued the watering of the aquifer will, in, will lead to increased areas of salt intrusion. Whoa. And that is the problem over here. Because of the, the, the proximity to, to the ocean, to our coast, the, 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 the salt intrusion comes, and because of the, the above mean sea levels, it is determined uh, in terms of how, how the salt intrusion will have, will, will, will affect us. So, had they taken heed, we could have done it. Just before elections, I must say, though, the uh, fairness to the Dogon administration, uh, they entered into an agreement with a company that should have delivered water, 1.2 million gallons of water, in six months. To date, they have not delivered. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, we, and I must commend the Water Services Department because they have experienced mm -hmm. uh, a, a difficult 2015 rainfall uh, 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 levels have been 50% uh, reduced. Right? There's a deficit in rainfall. And the challenges from the, the, the record low rainfall obviously affects our, our, our low surface. Uh, it, it derives into low so surface inflows and, of course, reduce groundwater abstraction uh, rates. So new sources of potable water ought to be be yes. addressed and we are looking at that as we speak mm -hmm. in interim the the we address the shortage uh, water shortage uh in the area by by between deep bit of saddlers whereby we laid six thousand feet of pipeline which was installed from deep bit of saddlers tank of two hundred thousand gallons mm -hmm. and uh in addition 1500 feet of pipeline was used to reactivate the large well that may be of interest to you uh <laughs> why. Uh, so while a, a water pump house the thousand was installed in, at gondor field uh, that's in the area going up at cedar grove and i must say that we have taken an approach that we have to get water now we have looked at uh reverse osmosis in terms of as desalination there is a plant lying at La Valley for over eight years, over eight years. And we are looking at uh, uh, the possible uh, commission of that plant in a particular area in Bassett. I, I can't say too much of that because mm -hmm. I haven't really uh, got the approval from my cabinet to say too much right. on that. But that's an option we have looked, uh, looked at. That, uh, once that plant uh, is installed, we can, we can uh, get some 1.2 million gallons. Mm -hmm. But don't lose the fact as well. Since in the 1970s and beyond, it has already been established that there are some 11 million gallons of water underground. We have only tapped wow. into 5 million or uh, 50% of that water. So we have a lot of work to do yeah. and we are doing it. Well, thank you, Minister. Of course, we know that water is life and we cannot exist without water. It is totally um, important to our survival.